Welcome everybody to How to Pass the Math FSA, fourth grade edition. We've got um, our standard today is maths.4.mbt.1.2, .mbt and we're on lesson eight, which is read, write, and compare whole numbers. So, let me teach ya. All right, drag each number to the correct value. So we see 23,456. 2,356, and 200,003, I'm sorry, 203,456. So I've got all these guys up here that need to go into the correct column. All right, for time's sake, we're going to call this column A, call this column B, and column C. Now what you would have to do is physically take one of these and write on there. And if you have purchased the complete guide, you will see that in the answer key, I do give it to you like that. But just for video time's sake, it'll take me a while to write all these out. So I'm just going to put A, B, or C next to each one. That way you know where it goes, but don't do that on the actual FSA. You need to actually write them out. Okay. So let's look at this one. 2 times 10,000 plus 3 times 1,000 plus 4 times 2... 4 times 100 plus 5 times 10 plus 6 times 1. So that's written in expanded form. It's where you're expanding out the number like a rubber band. Um, and so 2 times 10,000. I need 2 in the 10,000 place. This one has a 2 in the 10,000 place. This one has a 2 in the ten in the thousands place. And this one has a 2 in the hundred thousands place. So A would be the right one. So I would write at the same answer that's here, I would put inside of this box. Okay? Two thousands, thirty-five tens, six ones. Two, let me go ahead and just write these on top. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten, thousands. That's not working out so well. Um, all right, so two thousands. This is two in the thousands place. 35 tens, 35 in the tens place, and six ones. So this one would go into column B. 203,456. That belongs with this one. It's with the word form of this one. So I'm going to put C here. Now, you wouldn't normally do that. Again, you would take it and you would, on a computer, you would drag it and drop it in there, or you would physically handwrite it if it's a paper-based test. Um, 200 thousands. 34 hundreds, 56 ones. Two in the hundred thousands place, 34 hundreds, 56 ones. That works. That goes with C. 23,456. 23,456 goes with A. Two times 1,000 plus three times 100 plus five times 10 plus six times one, so where does two go in the thousands place? Right here. Three is in the hundreds place, five is in the tens place, and six is in the ones place. B. All right. Two hundred, thirty-four, four hundreds, and fifty-six ones. Two hundred, thirty-four hundreds, fifty-six ones. That would be a very interesting way of writing A. 2 times 100,000, I already know that because this is the only 2 in the 100,000s place. But let's check it out. We've got 3 in the 1000s, 3 in the 1000s, 4 in the 100s, 4 in the 100s, 5 in the 10s, 5 in the 10s, 6 in the 1s, 6 in the 1s, so C. And finally, the last one, 2,356. 2,356, so I would take that one and put it there, but I'm just going to write B. So that's your answer. All right, we're on example five. It says match each pair of numbers to the symbol that correctly compares the numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at each number and decide which symbol belongs in between them. Okay? So first, I'm, what I'm going to do is count the digits to make sure they have the same amount. If they have the same amount, then I take it a step further. If they don't, then I have my answer. So watch. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five digits. One, two, three, four, five digits. So now I take it to the next step where I compare them. 
9 and 9, they are the same, so I am moving on. 8, 8, they are the same, so I am moving on. 7, oops, 7, 6, they're different. And which one is greater, 7 or 6? The 7 is greater, so those of you who learned about alligators, the alligator wants to eat the one that is greater. So I'm going to find this symbol, which is right here, and put a little checkeroni there. Okay, next, count the digits. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they both have five digits. Now it's time for me to see. Nine and nine, they're the same. Eight and eight, they're the same. Seven, seven, they're the same. Six and five, which one is greater? The six. Pachoo! Okay. Now here, I have one, two, three, four, five digits. And I have one, two, oh, it goes into words. So what I need to do is take the second one and put it into standard form. 98 thousands, 76 tens, and five ones. That was a terrible five. Yikers! That was not a good five. Okay, so ones, just to check, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten, thousands, ninety-eight thousands, seventy-six tens, seventy-six tens, and five ones, five ones. Okay, I'm going to bring that other number. So we have nine and nine, they are the same. Doot, doot, eight and eight, they are the same. Seven, seven, they are the same. They have 65 and 65. So, what does that mean, baby? That means they are equal. Choo! That's how you do that one. Inspirational, motivational time. All right, everybody. Let me leave you with this. If you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. If you want an A, and you've never had an A, you must be willing to do what it takes to get that A. If you want to make more money, and you've never worked hard enough to make more money, you must be willing to do more to make more money. If you want to lose weight, but you don't get up and work out, and you don't eat healthy, it's not going to work. If you want to lose weight, you must be willing to do the things that you are not currently doing that you've never done before. Take a step out of your comfort zone. If you want something, go after it. <laughs>